So you want to make a YouTube channel? It's Ryan Holmes TV with another video for you. What's going on guys? Cat, what are you doing cat? What are you doing up there? So I got a message from somebody and they asked me to maybe make a video about how to start a YouTube channel. So I obliged and I am making this video right now. There are tutorials online that teach you how to set up your YouTube channel and blah blah blah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So this isn't going to be the basics of how to create a channel and things like that. It's just going to be tips for people that want to start creating videos. Say you know what kind of videos you're going to make and you have your first video. You're going to want to pick a title that corresponds with the video but kind of also works in its own way. Sometimes it can be really simple, have can explain the video, and sometimes it can just be a little pun, the subtle little thing about the video that makes it a little fun, like, oh, that's why it's called that. Ha ha, I get it. One thing you should always do when naming and putting a description and uploading a YouTube video is have your title, have your title in the description and have your title in the tags. It's like a little trifecta of tags. If you want someone to find your video from your title and you have your video title in your title description and tags, it will be found a lot more easy, e easier. So the trifecta. In order to get interaction on your YouTube channel, you're gonna have to interact with people. A good way that I like to interact with people on YouTube is just to comment on other people's videos. And if someone comments on my comment, I will respond. And of course you have to answer and respond to and just at least read all of your comments on your YouTube videos just to get a general sense of what your viewers are feeling when they are watching your YouTube videos. You want to get a general sense of what they like. A good way to share your content is on social networks. There is a share button. There is a bunch of share buttons on YouTube, I'm sure you know, and those are extremely helpful. When you upload a new YouTube video, I usually wait about an hour or so to share it on my social networks. Social, social networks. Just so that people that don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter and things like that. They actually subscribe to me on YouTube that they can see the video first. But you always have to share it on social networks. Why do I have a lisp? You always should share it. Should share. What is. What is. Am I developing a lisp? Make sure to share. God damn it. Share. Share them on your social networks and that, that'll really help. One of the biggest things that you can do to keep steady people coming to your YouTube channel is constant content. Now I'm not saying that you have to upload five videos a week or even five videos every two weeks, but you should upload at least once a month. Now I upload two times a week and it works out great for me. I can see what people are liking throughout the week and I can make a skit and then I have a little standy talky video and it lets me interact with my viewers and that works out pretty well but you don't have to upload even once a week but once a month just to keep your content up there keep people coming back you should upload at least once a month now I know this might be cliche but a lot of YouTube channels do it because it works you should at least do a Q&A every once in a while because that gets a chance for your viewers to one, ask you a question that's going to be in your video, and two, you get to answer questions in front of the camera and have g genuine answers to the questions that people are wondering about you. It's always nice to learn something new about the person that you really enjoy watching on YouTube or any anywhere really. So a Q&A is a, is a very good idea. There's a fly! We're fly! Get out of here, fly! Yeah. Another great thing that you can do to get your YouTube channel name out there is collab with people. Now, a lot of people think that video collaborations have to happen when there's someone standing in the same room as you, but that is not true. I have done hundreds of collabs with people that I have never even met in real life. There's a lot of different ways that you can edit and be in the same video together if you are not in the same area, and that helps out both channels. It's a really good way to social network, and it's a really good way to actually make friends and make good content. It's different than what you normally make. This person has a different comedic style, a different way of their making videos, and it's gonna mesh into yours and it's going to be different and it's going to be weird and it's going to be exciting for your viewers and their viewers. So collaborating is very, very 
it's, it's essential. Yeah. Collaborating is essential. YouTube can be really great and it can bring a lot of awesome stuff. I know that my life is changed because I just decided to start uploading videos on YouTube one day. It's made a positive change in my life. And I know that some people that are thinking about starting a YouTube channel haven't because they're insecure and they think that people are just going to make fun of them. And I'm not going to tell you that no one's going to poke fun at you or anything like that, but if you don't have strong skin, you should maybe not think about making a YouTube channel or even just disabling your comments. There are going to... The, the sun just got dim. Sorry, I just got dim on my face. There's always going to be people out there that don't like your content. But there will always be people that do and leave you positive comments and leave you positive feedback. I get a lot of hate on the YouTube and the internet and stuff like that. And a lot of people message me and say, you are awesome because you don't let this stuff affect you. I listen to the positive and I listen to the negative and I take in the positive and I just use the negative comments to motivate me even more. I've had people that have hated me for years and I uploaded one video and they laughed their ass off and said, I am sorry for hating on you. I didn't like your videos before, but that one was awesome. People can change. You, they might just not like the certain video that you just made and they don't know what you're capable of. The negative people are gonna be more predominant because they wanna let themselves known that they hate you. And people that are positive, they will just quietly sit there and just be like, ah, oh, this guy's awesome, I like him, I'm gonna keep watching him. And you might not even know some of your viewers that watch you all the time. Alright, this is getting kind of long. If you guys want to know any more tips or anything like that, leave a comment below and I will answer it in the comments. Uh, I just tried to make this video really quick because this person asked me to make it and I said I would, so I did. I really hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Make sure to give it a like if it did. Make sure to subscribe to see my face more often. I'm really close to 20,000 subscribers so you can help me get there. Got it! <laughs> and I'll see you guys, uh, wait, what's today? And I'll see you guys on Monday for Ask Taco number 15. If you want, you can go to my Ask Taco 14 and ask me questions for Ask Taco 15. So, so do that. And a lot of people are going back to school this week, so if you guys want some tips on how to survive the first week of school, go look at my last video, How to Survive the First Day of School. Okay, bye.